Most of my art displays things out of my past, my present. It's like once I get my hands are closed, like I was holding my breath till I got to touch the clay. My name is Reverend Joyce McDonald, and I've been doing art for over 25 years now. I'm a chaplain. I'm a 36-year AIDS survivor. I'm an advocate. I'm an activist. I'm a testimonial artist. <laughs> I, do, I do a lot of things. One day at, uh, after I had gotten diagnosed with HIV and AIDS and I was at an AIDS day program, learning how to live with AIDS, they had an art department there and they had clay. And that was the beginning. <laughs> I never went to school for sculptures or anything. And even to this day, basically, I don't plan anything. If I make something that I plan, it might be a hamburger, a Daffy Duck or something like that. But I do go into a place. It's a place that I cannot explain when I'm doing sculpting. Once I touched the clay, it's like something just came over me. I started doing sculptures, but they were unleashing the deepest, darkest secrets in my life in sculpture form. I used to use drugs just so I wouldn't feel pain for 25 years. I have 25 years shooting galleries, places where people shared needles. We didn't know anything about AIDS. I thought I would be dead by 35. I had actually planned my funeral. And when my pastor asked me, have you ever been tested? And did I want to change my life? And I said yes to both, and that's why I'm here today. I believe that my relationship with my work, my art, is very, very strong because of what God did in my life. My pastor gave me an um, exercise. He said, I want you to look in the mirror and tell yourself you love yourself. It was so hard for me. I couldn't believe it. I was like 49 when I got clean. I have 27 years sobriety. And I was crying looking in the mirror because I hadn't been delivered yet. Even though I was clean, I was saved. And I remember the day when I said, Joyce, I love you, you're beautiful. And then at that time, I, I, I realized that um, black was beautiful for me. The world could say it, but it's not until it agreed with me, I understand it. Oh, I do talk to my stuff. As long as they don't talk back. Yeah, right. <laughs> Is this a good? Mm -hmm. I had no idea what I was making. Um, her eyes and her face represents a, a moment of peace and a moment of serenity. She has a slight smile. She has her head up. She's tilted. Every part of her is like almost like a movement of a statement. So she just seemed like she's in splendor. A lot of my art displays people hugging people. My family was a hugging family, you know, a supportive family, unconditional love, and it comes through my work time and time again. This gold is coming from her eyes right here. It could be like a long teardrop. She had so much peace. She had a pleasantry in her face. She just, you know, and she went through the fire. And it reminded me of life. But since I'm doing this art here, it reminded me of my life. Turning the brokenness into Beauty. I'm grateful that I went through everything I went through because had I not, I wouldn't have that experience to be able to speak to those that have been through and experience what I've been through. Like no matter what it is, you got to keep holding on to hope because hope is the way to be able to breathe each day with these illnesses and trust God. And that's what I do. Guess you can never give up on a wounded, broken person. 
have to celebrate everything they've been through because as bad as a lot of things I've been through, I'm here to talk about them, to tell others that they can make it.